Boo! <laughs> Happy Halloween! In case you didn't recognize me, I'm the Attorney General of the United States, Merrick Garland. Did I not scare you? Well, then maybe you're not a journalist, because I tend to, um, I tend to write memos as the Attorney General of the United States, prohibiting raids against journalists. Don't bother Luke. Or is there a circle with a line through it? That means don't. Haven't you seen Ghostbusters, Pam? Yeah, but it's like you're saying we should bother Luke. No, it... Yes, okay, right, all right, yep, my bad. And I'm here reporting at the Project Veritas Wall of Shame, the next retracto, which goes to Courthouse News Service here. Courthouse News Service reporting the FBI raided the Mamaronic offices of Project Veritas, but um, we didn't do that at the Department of Justice. We never raided Project Veritas headquarters. I did not. So now it reads, the FBI raided O'Keefe's Mamaronic apartment last fall. I'm going to take you through it and talk about my memo prohibiting raids against journalists. So before I get to the retraction about the raid, I just want to tell you how much I care about the press. I care so much about journalism rights that I've written this memo prohibiting, as you can see, zoom in on there, my language outlawing any raids, seizures of reporters' notebooks and raids on journalists' homes. And I care about this so much, myself, Merrick Garland, cares so dearly that I have a document here that says this section does not create any right or benefit, substantive or procedural, enforceable at law or in equity by any party against the United States, its departments, agencies, or any other person. So if I violate it, nothing can happen to me. Floods, fire, frost of frippery. Accidents? What kind of accidents? But as you can see, I have written this lovely memo which prohibits raids against journalists, which is why I think it's appropriate for me to present to you this retraction. The courthouse news service reported two Floridians plead guilty in scheme to steal and sell diary of Biden's daughter. And they did report that the FBI raided the Mamaronic offices of Project Veritas last fall. But we didn't raid Project Veritas headquarters. No, we targeted their former two reporters, Spencer Meads and Eric Cochran. I'm sorry, so what is this regarding? This is a search warrant. And then two days later, we went to a magistrate judge in New York and got that one approved against James O'Keefe on a Friday, November 5th. And then at 6 a.m. on Saturday, we executed a warrant at the home of journalist James O'Keefe. Same sort of thing. That was right after my first memo prohibiting raids against journalists. Uh, this is the use of compulsory process to obtain information from the news media. The Department of Justice will no longer use compulsory legal process for the purpose of obtaining information. Well, a few months later, we raided uh, the home of James O'Keefe, Spencer Meads, and Eric Cochran. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm kind of learning about that now. Hmm, interesting. I, wa I wonder if I approve that raid or not. We're not sure about that. Answer me! Well, I don't know. God's got my tongue. <laughs> So, Courthouse News Service was forced to print an update, a correction, a retraction, which read, quote, the FBI raided O'Keefe's Mamaronic apartment. That's right. They got it wrong, and now they're going to have to publish a correction retraction, which will live on the infamous Project Veritas wall of shame. For eternity. And, per this New York Times article, Rule Bars Justice Department from Seizing Records or Notes from Reporters, they report on my most recent memo. The New York Times did. I'm going to read that, read that passage to you. The department also obtained search warrants for emails in 2020 and locations in 2021 associated with the conservative group Project Veritas in connection to an investigation so that we didn't just raid them. We seized all of their emails going back two years. Emails nine months before this investigation into a diary even took place. It remains unclear whether or how the Justice Department interpreted its news media rules as applying to search warrants 
And data seizure is aimed at Project Veritas to edit this out. Don't, don't cut the tape. Stop. Hey, uh, Mike Schmidt. Yeah, um, we gotta talk. We have a problem. We have a situation. Yeah. Well, you know, well, then get me Adam Goldman, all right? I need to talk to these guys. We have a situation here. Why is this in the New York Times? So, Josh Russell, uh, you've got it wrong. I mean, you did get it right that the FBI raided someone associated with Project Veritas, but you got the location wrong, so we're going to go ahead and um, frame that for you, and um, Project Veritas is going to send you an alpaca. I actually think you should update your article again to include this beautiful language right here. Zoom in on that, and I'll read it to you there from my memo, right, about the raids. Department of Justice will no longer use compulsory legal process for the purpose of obtaining information from records from members of the news media. A very important memo written by me about journalists. And you'll begin in an alpaca, and all of this could have been avoided if you, um, you know, you cared about the First Amendment, like I do. Clearly I do, because I haven't authorized any raids against anybody. People are, are going to get hurt, aren't they? Nah, I mean, it's, you know, it's a possibility. Someone must have authorized that without my consent, per what I wrote in my annual report. Who wants to be a Fed more, Schmidt or Goldman? Let's do a poll.